Right price and navigate the process to sell your home in a way that's right for you. That's what's up, guys. Welcome back to the channel. It is Monday, April the 1st, aka April Fool's Day. So, rather if you're on the giving or the receiving end of a practical joke or some type of humor, hopefully, you guys are going to make the best of it and make the day go by. But I appreciate everyone that has recently subscribed to the channel, man. It means a lot to me. If you're a new viewer to the channel, if this is your first video, I highly encourage you to go back and check out some of my older ones. And if you're entertained and like it, hit me a thumbs up and hit that subscription button. Both are absolutely free. I like it and YouTube loves it, so it really helps the channel grow. But again, thank you guys for tuning in. Hopefully you sit back and watch this video all the way to the end. I'm about to get into some good topics. So without further ado, y'all sit back and I'm going to chime back in in just a moment. So guys, one thing I want to talk about, I mean it's talked about a lot, but I just want to put it out there just because beginning of the 2024 season and maybe you're brand new into lawn care and getting ready to be on your way this season guys let me help you out especially the new guys and i mean this can help the seasoned guys also but guys the topic is oh my goodness i lost a client oh my goodness i have lost a client now i'll be honest with you in the very beginning Speaking personally for myself, it was a devastating feeling to lose a client because it just felt like not fitting in. It felt like, you know, you just never, you know, even should have been on that property in the first place once you lose a client due to them firing you. Let me make that clear. Oh, my goodness. Again, I lost the client. What will I do? Let me help you simply good answer go get another one. go get four more go get eight go get ten more clients guys when i first got started i made it seem like you know it was the worst thing in the world to lose a client i've made it feel like you know my my pride was broken and it was a goal of mine to never be on that end of the stick of saying man i lost a client well it happened. It happened year one, it happened year two, it happened year three, and it has happened year four. So what in the world makes you get over that other than just going out and getting more clients? Guys, you are gonna experience 
losing clients just like waking up every morning and you know the thing that really you know stands out is you want to lose some of those clients guys the honest truth you want to lose some of those customers because not everybody over time is going to fit into what your business plan is what your goals are what your aspirations are for your business and to get rid of the bad clients i'm telling you it may suck in the beginning but once you realize that you can go out here and prevail with more clients to that one loss you'll be like man this is this is just a piece of cake you you firing me hey let me go to my waiting list let me go out here and advertise a little bit harder you know let me go out here and network and I'll show you, hey, you got rid of me, watch me work. So guys, don't take it too personal. I know it's easier said than done, but trust me, every time you lose a client for being fired, guys, those people really just was not meant to be a client of yours. And that moves me on to the next topic, stay tuned. So we talked about just now being fired by a client, a customer per se. So let's just talk about the guilt that you feel when we as a provider have to fire a customer. Guys, it almost pretty much goes hand in hand with what I just spoke on. You are gonna have to get rid of certain customers just because they just don't fit your business. And if you don't, you're gonna prolong the misery 
let's just say you're getting underpaid for a yard after you've gotten a little bit more seasoned in the business and you know that the particular yard that you're doing on a project is not being paid you know up to your standards because your standard is your standard rather if you do great work or if you go out here and do terrible work which i hope you're not doing but guys if you have to fire a customer don't dwell in that guilt because you have to make hard decisions sometimes when it comes to business and that is one of the main parts of keeping your business growing letting go of the bad apple getting a better one in this place and keeping everything going in the up and up direction for your business so Yes, once you start feeling, hey, I think I need to let this customer go, you know, for whatever reason it may be, because there are numerous reasons. If you decide to let that customer go after your up to par latest mo of them, be respectful, you know, let them know, hey, you know, you can tell them the reasons why, or you can just be, hey, you know, I would no longer be able to service your property, you know. X, Y, Z, yada, yada, yada. And just be respectful and let it go. Because instead of feeling the misery and the aggravation and frustration of going to said property to do it, let it go. I had to do it myself for one reason of route, you know, consolidation, trying to get my route a little bit tighter. And, you know, it kind of gave me a guilty feeling but after i looked at why and subtracting some of that distance from my route i was like you know what that wasn't a bad decision i let it go respectfully and they understood and boom on to the next one guys lose that feeling of guilt when you have to fire someone for your own business purposes so stay tuned we're gonna wrap this video up here in a minute Hopefully you guys take something away from it and we'll chat it up in the comments. So guys, take this as just a tip. I always keep my foot on the deck release. And the reason so is a lot of my properties are uneven. There are those hidden roots. There are hitting debris. Sometimes in some properties after it rains, they wash up. And you just pretty much wanna make sure I do it. I keep my foot on that release just to raise and lower my deck, depending on what part of the property that I'm about to go over. Because I pretty much remember all of my properties lay of the land, you know, after being going to them multiple times year after year. I know the high spots and the low spots and where I need to raise and reload the deck back to the set height. Just so I won't scalp the ground, break a boat under my deck, or do any damages to the property. Just a tip. So guys, lo and behold, as we wrap the video up, you know, I think about a time I was fired by a client and the neighbor spoke to me the very first time I was servicing the property I was fired from. And to this day, they are a weekly client going on four years with me. Very loyal, pays on time. You know, every time I go out there, the pay is under the mat where they leave it at. And no questions asked easy as one two three and i'm satisfied with that and when i had to fire a client it was because i had to increase the price after i did a lot of research and you know as time goes by and you learn your worth on properties especially if this one was a corner lot i was way way undercharging for the amount of string trimming and the amount of mowing 
I was undercharging big time. Once I introduced my new price, they first got rid of me, but then came back to me for that new price. But in 2024, my prices are pretty well much. I'm confident in pricing my corner lots and regular lots now. And I told them after they texted me this year, was I still servicing property? They asked me, I told them the price that I would expect for a corner lot. And my only reply was, okay, thanks. Guys, you're gonna run into people that are gonna to try to contact you, you know, whenever they think they want you to come out and service their property. Because you don't even know who's cutting it before they even call you into play. So let's just say their last service was three weeks ago and it's rained and rained. And you get out there and the lawn is overgrown and you have to spend about two hours on a corner lot to get it back in shape. And you only charging, you know, certain amount of dollars guys don't subject yourself to that know your worth if they deny your pricing take it as a, a blessing and and leave it alone go out and get some more customers that i stated in the beginning that are willing to be a part of your business journey and help you grow and they don't give you that hesitation when you give them a price you're going to run into a lot of people that are going to stand by your side and say Man, that's all you charging? Well, I'm gonna give you a little bit more. Guys, there are people out there. You just gotta get out, network, advertise. Be confident when you go out and give prices. Be confident when you get out here every day in general, you know, to be in this field because in the beginning, it's cool. The humidity hasn't arrived yet, but I guarantee you when June rolls around in July and those super hot days come out here, you are going to want to make sure in your mind that you're waking up and servicing a property for the right amount of money and for your time and for all your equipment use. Because I guarantee you if something breaks on your fleet and let's just say you don't have a replacement right away, the price that it's going to cost to repair something, you got to think about whether if you even making enough money from your property to even withstand a damaged you know, piece of equipment or a broken piece of equipment because the customer isn't going to want to hear that. But I guarantee you, if you're charging right and you're using your money wisely, guys, you will be more proud of yourself than you will ever believe. Trust me. But guys, I'm going to get off of here. I hope I don't sound like I'm on a soapbox, but I just want to make you, know, you think and realize that you can not... Like I said in the beginning, you cannot feel guilty for being fired unless you are absolutely doing a horrible job and don't feel guilty for having to fire a customer. It's a part of growth, it's a part of business, and you gotta make critical decisions to always remain successful. So guys, I'm gonna check out of here. Y'all be safe. This is Simon from Grand Salon Care. Please do me a favor. If you enjoyed this video, please leave me a thumbs up. Please subscribe to the channel if you're a returning viewer and you already enjoy what you see on the channel. I'm trying my best to drop a video once a week just so I'll keep being shown in the um, in the channels that pop up on your um on your feed, the what to watch channels. Guys, YouTube loves thumbs up. I love thumbs up. YouTube loves subscribers to channels, and so do I. Again, it's free. Do that for me. Peace out. I'm out here. Be safe. We're in the second week of April and things are, well, actually, yeah, the second week of April, some things are about to be wide open and that's just the beauty of it, guys. So peace out. I'm out of here. I'm hushing my mouth. Y'all be safe. Good day morning. Come home and the washing machine goes out. Good day on the lawnmower. Come home and the machine goes out. My luck, right? <laughs>